what's going on everybody happy monday hopefully your week has started out good i had a video started earlier during lunch and my phone ended up ringing and uh had to get my order placed with my distributor so i have to scrap the video yeah we're not we're gonna pretend that uh i'm just starting to open this stuff up but uh this here is what i got in the mail so far this week this is stuff in case anybody wasn't tracking vst uh sports cards opened their website yesterday late uh late afternoon early evening something like that and we're starting to put cards on to it now so make sure you guys check it out the link will be down in the description and let's go through this so i was in a break and actually one of the cards i believe is oh it's no it's over here so was it an optic break serial number wise and end up hitting a watson red and then two Brian Edwards, uh, rookies. Then also hit this as Tom Brady MVP. This is something I'll probably look at grading down the road. And while I'm touching that, I'm going to do a series on grading coming up. Uh, and basically, since we know a lot of places have either shut down or raised prices high, what my new avenue approach is, and trying to take a look at it from the prospect point of just reselling my cards that I'm grading. Now, I got it. A lot of people are going to mail cards in for PC, but I'm going to touch on it more with uh, purposes of trying to flip or sell in order to get PC cards and why I don't grade a lot anymore like I used to uh, compared to what the prices are and what, you know, the value is coming out of it. And maybe some people will use it, for example, uh, down the road whenever it does reopen and, you know, try to eliminate a lot of stuff that's being graded. But what I'm going to work on a series with that. It'll probably be maybe three or four videos over the course of two weeks. But this Brady here is one of the ones that I would grade. Just because the price range onto it. If it, it should come back at 10. Um, I haven't really taken it out and looked at it yet. Then I hit these in a Raz. And I thought I hit seven. But there's nine. And they did package this up in cardboard, so these were all pulled straight out of sets. The guy, I guess, had like a case or something of them. And they look really, really good and crisp. Um, and the reason why he put them up was he doesn't have the time for grading them. These are two fifty dollars a pop as a PSA 10. Nines are a little over 50 So when you take in consideration at the most, I think I had 12 bucks in this or something. It wasn't a whole lot of money. I, it was under 20 bucks. So nine of these to go in, for an example, would run me uh, $20 a card. So it was at $180. So I'd be at $200 in if I got these graded. Granted, we know there's probably going to be an 8 or so pop up. We don't even know if it'll be any 10s. But if I got 10s back out of this, even half, four of them would be a grand. The rest would be all, you know, 50 bucks a card. That's, that's some profit. That's what I would use to reinvest into it. Uh, then I hit... This into a Raz, which I'm sure, uh, I believe Dale was interested in this, so I'll probably hit him up about this. I did see your email from last night. I just haven't had a chance to get around to it yet today because of my job. But this came back uh, 1010. I only had 195 on it for corners, but this is a 2015 Contenders playoff ticket, uh, Melvin Gordon out of 49. My guess is probably about a buck 25 for the card, give or take. I could be off too. But really nice card to have as a 1010. And he has some upcharge. Uh, we're not even chargers anymore, but uh, with the Broncos this year. Finally, a buddy of mine uh, was running a Raz. And uh, um, basically, I got into it. And he ended up sending me a video of the card. And this thing here is, like I said, a lot of guys just are moving cards because they can't grade them right now. This is like a perfect candidate for a 10 of downtown breeze from Optic. Raw these are around two fifty ish or or two twenty five I think two fifty something like that. So getting a ten on this would be huge. It would actually be, you know, make some money off it. And that's something I'll look at grading down the road. But that's it pretty much for our mail day today. You guys missed me opening up the packages, of course. Mm, there's only a couple pieces of mail that I know coming in throughout this week, so I'll probably just incorporate it into videos of stuff that comes in in the mail and everything. But again, like I said, I started putting some stuff on the BST sports cards last night. Check it out. I can tell you now, um, the owner put a couple things on there, sneaky priced. Uh, 
there, there's some buys on there. I think there's only a couple people listing right now until everybody starts, you know, having some time to get their stuff onto it. But some nice stuff on there. I'll be, like I said, switching stuff out between the store and, and uh, his website back and forth like I normally do, used to do with eBay. So if you don't see it in the website, check out BST Sports Cards for the card. You cannot yet check by the person selling, like see everything I'm selling. But if you guys know what I have and stuff like that from the store over, it's pretty much on there. But, all right, everybody, I do appreciate it. Like I said, I'm going to work on a series on grading and stuff like that coming up. And it's going to be my plan of attack as once PSA reopens, because I'm not doing SGC at $75 a card. And I'm not sending it to some group submission person that's going to charge me $37 a card or whatever it is. Because I know what they're paying out to get the stuff submitted and stuff. So, and plus, SGC is just not really retaining the value like it used to on to. Yeah, it's cool. I get it done slab. HGA, Lethal Lottery of five cards. It's just not really uh, on to be on to it. So I'm holding off on PSA right now. And I got a couple of things uh, in for Beckett that it'll be going out. But all right, everybody, appreciate it. Hopefully you have a good week. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you keep up to date with some of the different series that I'll end up doing. Uh, this one I'm, I think we're going to work on is going to deal with grading. Oh, I know it's going to deal with grading. And I'm going to think about probably about four videos total onto it. And it's what I'm doing from my lessons learned in the past and doing research onto is the card going to be worth grading. Because a lot of people that have their bulks and stuff out right now, they'll still make money. But with the new pricing is what I'm going to be basing it off of. Is it going to be worth it in the long run? But all right, everybody, take care. See you guys next video.